Platelet Trich Plasma PRP and Platelet Trich Fibrin PRF are regenerative therapies that harness the healing potential of a patient's blood components. PRP primarily focuses on concentrating platelets and growth factors, making it versatile for various applications, such as joint pain management and skin rejuvenation. It provides a higher platelet concentration than regular blood and delivers a relatively rapid release of growth factors upon activation. On the other hand, PRF represents a more advanced version of PRP. It includes platelets, leukocytes, and fibrin within a natural fibrin matrix, offering a more controlled and sustained release of growth factors. Its unique fibrin matrix acts as a scaffold that gradually releases growth factors, making it suitable for treatments requiring extended healing and tissue regeneration. In this video, we will explain in details the difference between PRP and PRF. Instability. Most of the cells in our bodies divide. How platelet rich plasma, PRP, is created. Blood collection, the process begins by collecting a small amount of the patient's blood, usually from a vein in their arm. The amount of blood collected depends on the specific treatment and the concentration of platelets needed. Anticoagulant addition, to prevent the blood from clotting during processing, an anticoagulant may be added to the collected blood. This ensures that the blood remains in a liquid state. Centrifugation, the collected blood is then placed in a centrifuge, a machine that spins at high speeds. The centrifuge applies a strong force of gravity, causing the blood components to separate based on their densities. Separation of components, as the centrifuge spins, the blood components separate into distinct layers. The layers generally include Bottom layer, this layer is composed of red blood cells, which are denser and settle at the bottom due to centrifugal force. Middle layer, buff coat above the red blood cell layer, there is a thin layer known as the buff coat. This layer contains a concentrated mix of platelets and white blood cells. Top layer, the top layer is the platelet pore plasma, which is a pale yellow liquid that holds fewer platelets and more water and other substances. Platelet rich plasma collection, the middle layer, the buff coat, contains a higher concentration of platelets compared to the other layers. This layer is carefully collected and separated from the rest of the blood components. This concentrated layer is the platelet rich plasma, PRP. Activation, optional depending on the intended use, the collected PRP may be further processed by adding an activating agent, such as calcium chloride or thrombin. Activation prompts the platelets to release growth factors and other bioactive molecules that are essential for tissue repair and regeneration. Application, the processed PRP is then ready for application. It can be injected directly into the targeted area, such as joints for pain management or the scalp for hair restoration. It can also be used topically in procedures like skin rejuvenation. The goal of this process is to create a concentrated solution of platelets and growth factors that can potentially enhance the body's natural healing processes. The growth factors released by the platelets are believed to promote tissue repair, reduce inflammation, and stimulate the production of new collagen and blood vessels, depending on the treatment objective. It's important to note that PRP preparation methods can vary slightly based on the equipment and protocols used by different medical professionals and facilities. Always consult with a qualified healthcare provider to understand the specifics of any medical procedure. Platelet-rich fibrin, 
PRF, is considered a more advanced version of platelet-rich plasma, PRP, and how it enhances the healing potential by including a fibrin scaffold. 1. Formation of platelet-rich fibrin, PRF. PRF is prepared using a similar process to PRP, which involves drawing a patient's blood and then processing it to concentrate platelets and other bioactive components. However, the key difference lies in the processing method and the resulting composition. 2. Centrifugation without anticoagulants. In the PRF preparation process, anticoagulants are usually not added to the blood collection tube. This allows the blood to naturally start clotting during the centrifugation process. 3. Three-dimensional fibrin matrix. As the blood is centrifuged, the lack of anticoagulants results in the formation of a three-dimensional fibrin matrix within the PRF clot. Fibrin is a protein involved in the clotting process and forms a natural scaffold that supports wound healing and tissue repair. 4. Layers in PRF. After centrifugation, the tube contains three layers. Bottom layer, contains red blood cells and a dense fibrin clot. Middle layer, PRF The middle layer is the PRF itself. It contains a concentration of platelets, leukocytes, growth factors, and cytokines within the fibrin matrix. Top layer, the top layer consists of a small amount of plasma with a lower platelet concentration. 5. Slow release of growth factors. The fibrin matrix in PRF serves as a natural scaffold that holds the platelets and growth factors in place. This allows for a controlled and gradual release of these bioactive molecules over an extended period, potentially enhancing the healing process. 6. Enhanced healing potential. The presence of the fibrin matrix in PRF is believed to offer several advantages. The fibrin scaffold provides physical support for cells involved in tissue repair. The controlled release of growth factors can promote tissue regeneration over a longer duration. The fibrin matrix may aid in cell migration and tissue integration, contributing to more robust healing. 7. Application Areas PRF is used in various medical and dental applications, similar to PRP. It is commonly used in oral surgery, periodontics, bone grafting, and wound healing. PRF's slow release mechanism makes it particularly suitable for cases where sustained healing and tissue regeneration are desired. 8. Evolution of PRP PRF can be seen as an evolution of PRP, building upon the principles of platelet concentration and growth factor release. The incorporation of the fibrin matrix capitalizes on the body's natural wound healing mechanisms to potentially yield improved outcomes. It's important to note that while PRF offers potential benefits due to its fibrin matrix, both PRP and PRF have their own applications and advantages. The choice between the two depends on the specific treatment goals, the patient's condition, and the recommendations of a qualified healthcare provider. In summary, PRP primarily focuses on concentrating platelets and growth factors. PRF includes platelets, leukocytes, and fibrin in a natural fibrin matrix. PRF's fibrin matrix provides a scaffold for slow release of growth factors. PRP is used for a wide range of applications including joint pain and skin rejuvenation. PRF is often used in oral surgery, wound healing, and bone grafting. PRP has more extensive research supporting its applications. PRF's slower release of growth factors might lead to prolonged effects. Due to inflammation.